hey guys what's up so i welcome you all to in this brand new course on important science and tech topics which were in news in 2017 although they you can classify them as current affairs but i will say that these are perennial topics and even if you are giving 2018 prelims 19 prelims or 20 prelims uh, these topics will help you a lot so this is the lesson one here so here uh, when we talk about uh, the science and tech current affairs it has a lot of important topics so we need to cover them first is superbugs and klebsiella pneumoniae bacteria so i have been hearing it about since uh, before i started preparation and it is going on for last 7 8 years superbug is basically a bacterial strain that has become resistant to antibiotics either because of long use overuse and abuse of antibiotics so repeat after me long use overuse and abuse infected person may not heal may not get treated and the medicines basically become ineffective So WHO has listed some superbugs includes MRSA that is methicillin resistant staph aureus then you have Neisseria gonorrhoeae which cause gonorrhea which is an STD Klebsiella pneumoniae E coli and uh, Klebsiella pneumoniae bacteria basically it lives inside the human intestines where it does not cause any disease however if it gets into the other areas of the body it can cause a range of different illnesses like pneumonia meningitis etc and it has recently developed resistance to a powerful class of antibiotics which is called as carbapenem so nothing much is left after beyond this and superbugs antibiotic resistance it is a cause of very big concern in india and we need awareness campaigns surveillance research national action plan to promote rational use of antibiotics etc then you have wolf 1061c so what is wolf 1061c so there are a lot of planets there are billions and billions of stars and and every star have like tens of planets and so you can imagine there are trillions of planets in our universe so one of them is earth one of them is wolf 1061c so why it is important why we are discussing about one in a trillion so it is an exoplanet which could be habitable in the future future means like not 10 years down the line we are talking about 100000 years down the line and it orbits within the habitable zone habitable zone basically means which is not too far away from the sun or the star so that it becomes very cold or it is not too cl- too close to the sun so that it evaporates so it is where somewhere in the goldilocks zone or the habitable zone where the water can exist in the liquid form of the red dwarf star wolf uh, 1061 and making it the third closest known potentially habitable exoplanet to earth after Proxima Centauri b and Ross 128b so these are the three planets but they are light years away okay so it's virtually impossible for us to reach there with the current technologies virtually it is literally impossible for us to reach there with current technologies then exoplanets so what do you mean by exoplanet exoplanet is any planet which is outside our solar system so exoplanet or extra solar planet is a planet outside of our solar system that obviously planets will orbit a star right or they can even orbit a black hole okay the what is goldilocks zone so this has been asked already in upsc prelims so try to focus here so it refers to the habitable zone so basically mercury pe kuch isliye nahi hoga because mercury is too close to the sun so water cannot exist there similarly pluto will be a frigid rock but earth is at a sweet spot which neither too cold nor too hot and where water can exist so it is a goldilocks zone around a star other than the sun is a habitable zone where the temperature is just right so for example earth is in the goldilocks zone where it is not too hot nor too cold for liquid water to exist on a planet then e cigarettes so a lot of people these days are saying that cigarette is bad but e cigarettes are good for the health so what do you mean by e cigarette so electronic cigarette or e cigarette basically it creates the feeling of tobacco smoking it works by heating a liquid to generate an aerosol commonly which is called a vapor okay it is not water vapor it is something else the user will inhale this and using e cigarette is something sometimes called as vaping also so just remember these words now what happens is it does not use tar which is present in normal cigarettes it uses e liquid which consists of nicotine propylene glycol glycerin flavorings etc and uh, nobody knows so nobody actually knows whether they are good or bad for the health you need at least 20 30 years before you can conclusively prove in medical science that nothing bad is happening so concern is that adolescents are getting attracted towards e cigarettes and uh, their efficacy as a replacement of tobacco smoking is still unproven nobody knows for sure and the use of formaldehyde and nicotine can definitely affect the health of the users formaldehyde is used in embalming fluids 
वेयर सो दे कैन अफेक्ट द हेल्थ ऑफ द यूजर्स इन इंडिया ई सिगरेट्स डू नॉट कम अंडर द सिगरेट्स एंड अदर टोबैको प्रोडक्ट्स एक्ट ऑफ टू थाउजेंड थ्री विच प्रोहिबिट्स ऑल द फॉर्म्स ऑफ एडवर्टाइजमेंट्स बोथ इट डायरेक्ट एंड इनडायरेक्ट ऑफ टोबैको प्रोडक्ट्स दे आर फोर इट्स प्रमोशन एंड यूज शुड बी रेगुलेटेड एंड रिस्ट्रिक्टेड सो बेसिकली लाइक यू शुड नॉट प्रमोट दैम विदाउट एनी नॉलेज एवरीबडी थिंग्स दैट सिगरेट इज़ बैड एंड दिस इज़ गुड सो डेफिनेटली लाइक दिस इज़ नॉट देयर एंड यू नीड लाइक फाइव टेन फिफ्टीन ईयर्स एंड हाउ इट इज लाइक गोइंग टू अफेक्ट देन वी हैव लाइडार सो लाइडार इज बेसिकली लाइट डिटेक्शन एंड रेंजिंग सो इट इज़ बेसिकली अ रिमोट सेंसिंग मैथड दैट यूज इज पल्स लेजर लाइट टू मेजर रेंजेज दैट इज़ वेरिएबल डिस्टेंस टू द अर्थ and uh, lidar basically means light detection and ranging similarly you have sonar sonar is uh, sound uh, and uh, so these light pulses generate three dimensional information about uh, the shape of the earth and its surface characteristics so basically what they are trying to say is that uh, so it is like you have sonar to detect it so similarly you can do 3d information using lidar and for terrestrial mapping lidar uses a in near infrared light whereas for bathymetric uses that is seabed mapping it uses water penetrating green light so a lidar instrument principally consists of a laser a scanner a specialized gps receiver and airplanes helicopters are the most commonly used platforms for acquiring lidar data over broad areas lidar technology can also be used in urban planning models coastal mapping oil gas mineral exploration flood pollution management crop mapping weather forecasting etc then you have cloud seeding so basically it is a form of weather modification where you can modify rainfall pattern by dispersing certain products and uh, uh, basically it will make the ice nuclei and it intent is to increase precipitation rain or snow The most common hygroscopic chemicals used include silver iodide please remember this name artificial rain basically potassium iodide dry ice also solid carbon dioxide and liquid propane and even table salt can be used to certain extent so it was supposed to be a solution for drought hedge against the vagaries of monsoon and a tool for agricultural growth however usage of cloud seeding has not given like good results and uh, as seeded clouds may give rainfall to areas other than the target area and there is a concern over the spreading of chemicals into the atmosphere then you have the flue gas desulfurization technology so flue gas is the gas exiting to the atmosphere via flue which is a pipe or channel and it refers to the combustion exhaust gas produced at power plants they largely contains oxides of nitrogen derived from combustion of air carbon dioxide carbon monoxide water vapor oxygen sulfur dioxide etc and F fgd is basically a set of technologies which is used to remove sulfur dioxide otherwise it can cause acid rain from exhaust fuel gas and fgd may remove 90% or more of the so2 and as i told you uh, from based on coal based power plants and as i told you it are primary contributor to the acid rain apart from the nitrogen oxides so thank you for watching this lesson